So in this video, we're looking at how to find the mean from a grouped frequency distribution or grouped frequency table. So our example here is looking at the grouped frequency table below, shows the marks out of 25 achieved by 50 students in a test. So the marks achieved are from one to 35, but they're broken into categories from one mark to five marks and six marks to 10, then from 11 to 15, 16 to 20 marks and 21 marks to 35 marks. Well, we don't actually know how many students, for instance, got eight marks. We just know that the eight marks is located in here within the, the category six to 10 marks. We don't actually know how many people got six marks, got 10 marks, got eight marks, got any mark. We just have broken them into what are known as intervals. So we can see here, for instance, 12 students got between six and 10 marks. Now, perhaps all 12 of those students got six marks. Maybe all 12 of them got nine marks. We just don't know. So the question is asking us in part A to estimate the mean using what's known as mid interval values. So we're gonna use mid interval values to calculate an estimate for the mean. Now it's not gonna be the exact mean because we don't know all of the scores. We just have them broken into these categories. And then when we calculate the mean in part B, then we're gonna find what's known as the modal class. We should remember that modal is the same as the mode, meaning the most common mark. So let's look at the first part, finding the mean using mid interval values. Okay, so in order to find the mean, we first of all have to find what are known as the mid interval values. So mid intervals are basically the middle value. So as we look at the marks from one to five here, we're basically gonna find the middle mark between one and five. Now the middle mark between one and five is three marks. Basically the middle of one and five is three. In order to find that, I'll just do a little bit of rough work out here. So in order to find three, if you're a little bit doubtful, you just add the two values, one and five, and you divide by two. So I add the top line, I get six, divide by two, I get three. I then come to the mid interval value of six and 10. The middle of six and 10 is eight, but to get it, add six and 10, divide by two, you get 16 over two, and I get a mid interval value of eight. The mid interval value then of 11 and 15. So once again, I add 11 and 15, get the average, divide by two, so that's 26 over two, which is 13. And I'm just writing them then above on my table. The mid interval value of 16 and 20, adding 16 and 20, I get 36, dividing 36 by two, and I'm getting 18. And the final one is 21 marks to 35 marks, adding those together and dividing by two, I'm getting, uh, 56 over two and dividing 56 by two, I'm getting 28. So the mid interval value here is 28. So now I need to um, multiply my mid interval mark by the number of students who got that mark. So as I look at the first one here, I have 11 students in this first interval. So in other words, 11 students got my mid interval or my average value there. So I have 11 um, or I'd have three marks written out 11 times. Now we're not gonna actually do it this way. So that's only five of them, six of them, seven of them, eight of them, nine of them, 10 of them. It gets a little bit tedious writing uh, three out 11 times. So what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna multiply the three multiplied by the 11. So my workings here is going to be three multiplied by 11. And that's gonna give me the um, number of students multiplied by three marks. I then do the same thing for each of my values. I then take my mark, mid interval mark of eight, and I multiply that by the amount of students who got eight, and I have 12 students who got eight. And I continue that process. I then come to my mid interval value here at um, 13, and I multiply the mark, the mid interval value, which is 13, multiply that by the amount of students who got it, and that's 15 students. Then I take the mid interval grade of 18 marks, multiply that by nine students. And then finally, 28 is my mid interval multiplied by three students. I then like always when I'm finding the mean, I divide by the number of students. Now, just be careful, what have we here? We've 50 students. Uh, so just be careful, don't add the amount of boxes. It's not one, two, three, four, five. I don't have five students. I add all of these values together um, and it gives me 50, but they tell us that in the top in the question, there's 50 students. Working all these out now, three by 11 is 33, eight by 12 is 96, 13 by 15 is 195, 
18 by 9 is 162 and 28 by 3 is 84 and once again all over 50. Adding the top line I get 570 divided by 50 students and 570 divided by 50 is a mean mark or an average mark of 11.4. So my mean using mid interval values is 11.4 marks. And finally, looking at part B, we cannot give the exact mode. Okay, so hopefully we can see that now because we don't know how many students got each individual grade, but we can find what's known as the modal class. And the modal class is basically just getting us to find uh, the most popular mark in the class. And as I look at my table here, uh, I can see that 15 students here got between 11 and 15 marks. So the most popular um, interval or class, modal class, is between 11 and 15 marks. That's the most popular. And the reason for that is because 15 students got it. Now my answer there is not 15. 15 students got the most popular grade and the po most popular grade is contained within that interval of 11 to 15. So that's my answer to part B, the modal class.